Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes. Now, I don't know what they're serving in the canteen at the SMP headquarters, but whatever it is, it's got to be in the parlance of the street, good shit, man. It is quite clear that John Swinney is absolutely on something. I don't know what he's on, but whatever it is, can I have some? Because it's it's brilliant, I think. He is, um, in the words of my little Dundonian friend, Afiz Heed. Because he was on Scotland Today and he was doing an interview. And I don't know how, how many of you watched this. But this interview, I mean, it was... The man is so delusional. He either is absolutely mental, deliberately lying because he knows the truth, or he is so deluded that he actually believes the words coming out of his mouth. I couldn't tell you which it is. I have a feeling he actually believes what he's saying, though. I really do. So he was on this thing. He was questioned and he actually had to for He was forced into it. He was, he was forced to confess that, in fact, the SNP aren't doing a very good job. Now, he didn't say piss poor. He didn't say awful. He didn't say worst government ever. But he did concede it wasn't optimum. It wasn't the best that we could do. I think, actually, it is the best that they can do. It's not the best for Scotland, of course, but it really is. They are absolutely doing their best. It just goes to show how bad their best is. Their best is pathetic. He went on and he said that the results in the election were bad for the SNP. He conceded that. But he said it wasn't that people weren't voting for the SNP. He said it was because people wanted to get rid of the big nasty Tories. Hmm. How come then not a single Tory seat was lost? Or at least one was lost and one was gained. There's the same number of Tories now as before the election. If they were voting to get rid of the Tories, they would have voted to get rid of the Tories and they didn't. Not in Scotland. What they did do is they voted against the SNP and put a whole load of Labour in. God, are we paying the price for that? It's hard to think that you'd actually prefer an SNP, uh, an SNP government in the whole of Britain than you would the Labour government. But that's a different story, a different video, a different day, a different nightmare even. But he was there and then he was saying... Um, during during the election campaign, he was questioned on this, and he kept saying, oh, we're going to go, we're going to strive for new heights, and within five years we will have an independent Scotland. And he was asked if he still felt that, and he didn't respond. He said nothing. He said nothing. He refused to answer this point. He did say, though, that when an independent Scotland came, he said he was confident that he would still be leading Scotland into that independence. John, your great-great-grandchildren will be long dead buried before that happens. You're never going to see independence. You're going to go to your grave, a very sad and bitter man. And I wonder if you're still going to be deluded. I'm not dead, you know. They're covering up the, the coffin with the mud. I'm not dead. It is absolutely ridiculous. They lost so badly. They can't face the truth. They have to blame around. And then they think that they're going to get independence while John Swinney is still leader. You're not going to get to Christmas with John Swinney still at leader. With all this thing with Angus uh, Robertson at the moment, the pair of you will be gone soon. I wonder who will be standing there at conference leading the party at the rate it's going. Now, I don't think they will get rid of you just yet, but it's coming. We all know. We all know who's polishing his boots ready for his big first speech as leader. Stephen Flynn. There's where your next leader is, and there's where your next leader is very, very quickly. The performance of John Swinney is awful, and that car crash interview really won't have helped. Thanks very much. Bye.